infrastructure that you don't have that uh, in Canada that you have that are available in the U.S. Come back to Canada and do that business. You'll be five uh, years ahead of competition. Compta Truly, I noticed with this thing like uh, nowadays mortgage broker online courts and all are pretty new. But uh, first thing, first one, which was the first one to start? That's why you just got a word from me, sir, because the man's memory is like unbelievable. Like, unbelievable. So the first time was Lending Tree. Lending Tree was one of the first services that started a long time ago in the U.S., but it was not in Canada. When did this thing online course in Australia? Only recently. So, well, running for politics, why would I run for politics? Politics is uh, supposed to be like a dirty field. It's like a, a field where you have to make all kinds of negotiations. People think so. Is you have to belong to certain politicians become a bad word like but why is that because good people don't run so that's why i'm urging you my friend if you think it's good if you think it's good please kindly uh, run because we need good leadership sir we need leadership beyond self you gotta rest yourself, rest your interest of your buddies, only you and them buddies. And keep on be talking about family first. You gotta raise something a little bit more than family first. You're not really uh, depreciating your family first thing too. Because like even an alligator, believe it or not, an alligator in the swamps of Florida believes in family first. That's a human instinct. That's a natural. That's a given. Okay, before you all get all huffed up and say the man did not believe in families first. That's what CBC says. So I'm believing it now. Even the alligator, you know, an alligator, like you come face to face with the alligator and all the swampers, is just going to bite that leg and eat your leg off, and you're going to be like lame. Yeah, and like you will see. But that same alligator, it believes in families first. So it goes and defends its eggs and looks after its eggs and all that. So you need as a human being to rise to about something a little bit of a level higher than family first. Yeah. Sounds too preachy, doesn't it? Yeah, something more than yourself. You gotta like uh, put I want to bring about change where we are not the victims of our, or our own law. In many ways, society is at uh, uh, doldrums. We are at war, on the brink of war with our enemies. And that too, unfortunately, let me tell you this. We are outwitted, outnumbered. And uh, outgunned too. Yeah, out freaking gun. The hypersonic missile, we don't have it. We don't have a defense against the freaking thing. But again, the newspapers and all, they're doing like a war media campaign. It's like, oh, look at the thing. Like, I think it's like you're only supposed to speak about how silly and stupid Mr. All the other opposite side is and how brilliant and nice this side is. You know that they're putting on like a campaign, a war campaign on the, on the press. But the reality is, we are not equipped for war. You've been resting on your laurels while your enemies has been beating their plowsheds into weapons, my friend. And their weapons are like outwitted out things. So, and also there's really no good reason to smoke uh, to fight. Truthfully speaking, there is really all of you is the same. 
like a real thing. There ain't no difference in any of you. Like all of you are wonderful people and all of you are hateful people too. Like you're all human beings. I've been everywhere. I've been like mostly everywhere around this earth. That's the reason why you should consider running against me or voting for me. You know, because I've been pretty much like most places. And I've seen most people that I've seen like people like different races and different religions and different thoughts and different all those things. But <clears throat> people are human beings, they are generally fall in a category. Some are good, some are bad, some are ugly, some are not bad, are exceptionally beautiful, some are tall, some are shut and like but again the nature is pretty much the same you're just the same spirit you know there is a spirit in you and that's what you need to find because when you find that spirit within you you will find that Je what Jesus Christ said was true the kingdom of heaven is within you eh? or like within you it's like a real wolf go look at it and you go once you find that out, but you haven't found it, have you? You look for everything outside, sir. I want like S box. That's how tiny said. Do you know what S box is? Do you have S box? Does you did you not have S box? You know what is S box? It's your X box. It took me like a, uh, 45 minutes to understand that like S-Box means Xbox. Yeah, I used to play games too, sir. So, but I quit. I quit the games a long time ago, maybe 20 years ago. But I still like to make games. Like, what that a big game? My, the young, like 10 year old people can make games for you in uh, Snap or Chat. Or, like, it's quite simple. I've seen like a 10 year old fan, 10 year old make like a rocket game. Mm -hmm. But I think the time has come. I remember I was talking about negative technology and positive technology. I think we need to have, uh, we need to be paid to be online. Yeah. Like, so for example, this is why you go to food for run against me you got to run against the guy who says every google member every person who has a legitimate verifiable google account should be paid right yeah because now thinking about work like i'm that's why i'm talking about like redefining work what is work what do you do most of your life if you're like a blue white collar guy, if you're working remotely, you're like glued to the TV or to uh, glued to the, yeah, that's what you must be doing, glued to the TV. Huh? Is it, are you glued to the TV? You're the computer and Zoom or Goom or it's just you're looking at something, pressing some buttons. All our life is all has become pressing buttons. That's about it. So based on the, how do you press buttons? It's based on decisions. You make decisions. Don't you? Isn't you? That's why I'm talking about software. I'm a integrate the enterprise. So in the enterprise, everything starts with the event. You know, like an event, like event. Like, see, if that was an E, and like that, would it be like that to be an E? It would be like this. So, so event. So once you create an event, then you start off with a cycle of process of things. And uh, the greatest thing about human beings is we start an event. We start an engine, stop an engine. We think about if this is a good way to think. For example, for you to do your mowing, or do the, um, you want to mow your lawn or you clean the snow off your driveway. You don't really have to go out and do it. You just sit down, grandma, and you play with this machine and then thing. You'll come out from your garage. It'll go do all the clean up of all the freaking snow. And I said, I don't want to see a single piece of wax. Grandma's pretty harsh on the machines. We're here, sir. 
super like a oh yeah she like pressed the button to her head <laughs> Yeah, on the depths of your dream. Amy Beach is pretty gifted. It is indeed we are in trouble times. So, so we can manage processes. It's no more put your hand or your spade to work. So the, the nature of work has been redefined. We can have machines that do the work. Now it's just a matter of directing them, moving them from one place to another, making sure they don't create an accident, making sure they move safely. So, remote. COVID has brought about remote work, taking that to a whole new level where you're able to, not you can do it, it's pretty simple. If you can write the, the thing on, on Mars, like one of those robots on Mars that's sitting here, you can show do it over here. It's pretty simple. That's why you need to run against me because the man has a master in technology, so he's like a master of technology, so high that they can't find him like a instructor at the university in terms of nanotechnology. Right. So technology, we got to use it positively, otherwise it's going to like take us and make us into like little amoebas, like little blobs. Human beings are like blobs called amoebas, where they sit down and they like juice, stare at their little green skin, they're drinking juice, and they think they're having smoothie. Now, yeah, we can have smoothie. Smoothie is the way to go. We don't need teeth. Why would you need teeth when you can have a smoothie of anything on the sun? You can have smoothie steak and smoothie hamburgers and smoothie all kinds of smoothies. So we got smoothie with a smoothie in it. Then you won't have them kind of teeth, sir. Them teeth they came from really children like fine objects in the Canadian force. It's because when you forgot to start stop using the calculator, I mean people have stopped using arithmetic and tables and uh, line rules and sign rules and all those things. They lost all those arts of Calculating. I remember I used to calculate logarithm based using a book. Yeah, they are like slides in books. So if you know the logarithm of something and you want to convert it into like uh, something else, but exponential or find some decimal, you need to find some decimal something or sometimes in engineering things. So you uh, had to look up a book. All those things have been lost. Also, the more you use your brain, the better you get. So the less you use it, the more apps you use, the less you have the ability to think and do those objects. It's most uh, wonderful to... I'm a person that I'm pretty sure you haven't seen my face before. And uh, I like to keep my face to myself and be Mr. Nobody from Norway, Ontario, Canada, you know, and zero and zero. But uh, alas, it's time for me to write short and share my vision for this planet. I have a vision for this planet. We're going to be a star bearing planet where you will so it's all, so that all of us can rule. All of us, uh, all of us want to rule anyhow. Isn't there a song like that? Everybody wants to rule the world. So we can have more granular, microscopic representation in all of the matters in judiciary, matters in legislation, 
matter and governance in creating laws, laws that will flow, laws that will uh, flow like water, like uh, hydraulics, like Newton's law, laws that make perfect sense rather than be the onerous or be a burden to society. A law, a good law should flow with the, what is the meaning of being human. Like uh, the things that you do and the reason why you do it is because you're a human being. Like that's the way people, human beings, err, so you're like a bunch of haters, man. Truthfully speaking, like people love to hate. We are not voting for that man with the beard, my friend. Have you seen his beard? Have you seen his beard? Me? We don't worry for anybody with facial hair in Canada. In Canada, you must shave your face. And, you know, you if you don't shave your face, you can be Prime Minister of Canada. Really? Didn't Mr. McDonald shave his face too, sir? How about Abraham Lincoln? Is that what people thought about Abraham Lincoln? You first gotta shave your beard, Mr. Abraham Lincoln, and we gotta see a square, tiny jerk. Yeah, there was a girl, I think, uh, you read about Abraham Lincoln's beard, that story. I wonder if it's a fable or true. Like, you uh, didn't have a good jawline. Oh, I have like a awesome warrior jawline. A warrior, you can tell a person, like, worry about his uh, jawline. You can read a person's face. I think the Chinese people read you by your face. Certain aspects, like, truly has certain natures. Say a wee, senor. You have to make the best of what you do. Yeah, Chinese people read you about this. I've been everywhere. I like all kind of colors. Yeah, I should sing. Yeah, that's my contract with Night Tracks. When they're talking, I do the singing. Um, when they play the music, I do the talk. It's a natural law. We can do it. That's how uh, organizations function. How do you think they come up with some kind of crazy policy? It's because they are first taking the data, then they researched it, then they apply to various uh, use case scenario modeling, and then they kind of going to does meet all the values, does meet all those things, and all those criteria. You met, does it meet the system level requirements? Does it meet the functional requirement? Does it meet all those things? And then you make them pan lows, man, and from them lows, you get like good lows that make you billions of dollars and as well as you don't have to be a criminal. You don't have to be a criminal to be rich. You just have to be technically a creator, not like a consumer. That's what the technology has made us. We have like people who are like brand subscribers to technology. All you ever done is appreciate technology. That's about it. And those that like make a living out of your appreciation of technology. I, I use the Google like, terms of master and you become like a master. And what's the other word for master? The slave? Uh, the slave has become like a bad word nowadays. But in the ancient cultures, they had a lot of slavery. We still do have slavery. But you won't believe it. This is why you need to rather run against me or work for me is because your new masters are your bank. Yeah, slavery is well established 
an established in the financial system. If you don't get yours by your color, we get you in some other way, my friend, and we get you through the monumental means. You need the money. If you don't get the money, you're a slave to your existence, buddy. You'll do anything for money, wouldn't you now? Pretty sure you'll try and steal my very tooth from me, sir. There you go. You'll pull one of those tooths and run away. Say, hey, we'll take that tooth and run away. Wouldn't you do that now? Would you? Yeah, I guess I reckon so. So for money, especially if that was a goal too. Yes, slavery, you are a last a slave of money, isn't you? It was your name kind of situation. So oh, you're the master of money. You have like too much money, like did he give it away? Is he like the song give it away, give it away, give it away now? Have you heard his daughter sing the song? I think it's his daughter who sings the song. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Give it away. I said, give it away, sir. That's what the song's all about. It says, so like, give it away. So, you find to give it away. You find, what do you call this? This instrument. I like to call it my instrument and implement of peace. Yeah, it's the implement of peace, sir. And we call it the... Uh, if you ask me to give it away, I would say sorry. I is now given away, sir. I have, like, it's mine. It's mine. But uh, money, you can have all the money off the flow. Because I like to keep my money on the flow all the time. Yeah, it's the most safest place. Like, do you look for money on the flow? Would you expect to hang, like, a million bucks on the flow tomorrow, sir? Walking down the street of New York? Would you have to find like a brown bag full of like million bucks? I gotta sing. Yeah. Mary Rusty. I sang this song. Nasratali. Nasratali. Mary Rusty Kumar. Of Mary Terepare Nazar. Dekte hi muze maza agaya. Yeah, this is like a wonderful Pakistani kawale. Okay, let's start to sing. So they will be said, the man can sing kawale. That's why you had a room against me, my friend. Ooh. Let me hear it. Vote for Henry. Like Henry, the man who has a moose jaw bone. This is like the moose jaw, sir. There's a real place called moose jaw, Saskatchewan. So moose jaw or bad way. They're calling him the 308. I need to make a new video about the 308. Yeah. Arigato. So the 308 is Moose Jaw. Remind me of the, I'm going to call the number 308 is Moose Jaw. It's because I'm pretty sure we need, I need, we need, this world need, and Canada needs 308 outstanding gentlemen. Is you like a gentleman and ladies? Or is you like anything else? I would like an entity. What shall we call ourselves? Yeah, because you need to run. We're going to take the next election. We, the Turkos Party of Canada, is coming to power. And if you is from Moose Joe, sir, and if you is from Moose Riding, I suggest you get yourself like a Moose Joe too and run for elections. So if you is in Toronto, if you are in like I told by call I told people like if you are in the upper lumber, lower humber, humper cumper, like what are all the funny names in this country, man? Where are you riding this from? Yeah, I am from like Lucknow, Ontario. I'm running for election in Canada, sir, for Ontario, Lucknow, Canada. Yeah. No, oh, I thought that Lucknow was in India. No, we have like a deli over here too. 
Did you know we have like a deli? Imagine the deli, how big you should be to fit in like in a little town right over here. You're like a little bit of a town, Mr. Deli. New Delhi, Old Delhi, everything like squishing one little town in Ontario. That's how big Canada is. Forget about luck now, man. And the Allah bed and all the things. We almost have the Ganga here. The Ganga is right here. I live Ganga Dwar, Ganga Dwar, like that. Am I girl? Yeah. So all these factors considered. You should run for election and exercise through democracy. Democracy is in seeing how many people like you. You know, do they like you or do they not like you? Do you like or no like? Why you no like? Oh, because you, you have like moose jaw. You know, there's a real moose jaw, so moose jaw, Saskatchewan. When I was returning back, when they told me from, uh, you know, I say, you don't leave it, leave it. So I said, okay, sir, I'll leave. Because I need to exercise the rights of a citizen. You know what the rights of a citizen are? Does you, does you know? The rights of a citizen are to run for elections. Yeah, you can be anyone, anytime, anyway, in a house. Like in the perfect country song, it has to have one of those words. Anytime, anywhere, anyhow, or any, anything. Or it can be like any, any too. Yeah. Right. This is, um, where did you run? Yes, I need to, uh, so I'm calling like 308. Well, think of us, you know, like uh, during the, have you seen the movie 300? Have you seen the movie 300, sir? Is you, is you not seen the Greek movie 300, The Legend of 300? So, but we was like 308. I was thinking, shall we be 308 or 310? I was thinking like 310 to Numa. Did you see the movie 310 to Numa? You know how it ends? Did you like the ending of Three Times New Moon, my friend? This is your second chance to write the movie Three Times New Moon. Because we need at least like two spare. Yeah, just in case like, hey. So we need, this is a call for three ten. For three fine spirits, the great spirits. This is the land of the great spirits, so. This is the land of Tecumseh and his great sitting boo. This is the land of mighty sailish nations that spoke like a middle language, like they had words like OK and like uh, SOB and all those kind of things. Really? There's some world languages by the sailor's sea, they were meta languages. And also there's like great. The great languages and uh, also there's uh, all kinds of things. I'm, I will make sure of everything. Can you see it? My face. I will make sure of everything. So, all of you is part of me. Yeah, I am. So, I have uh, European, I have all kinds of things, my friend. I am the intersection of all your love i would say because you've been spreading your love around so much so that all your love is finally bigot me and i am embodied of your love so pretty much all of you i like uh i claim allegiance to all of you and uh well the my weaknesses i would say i can be pretty harsh harsh with my words when i speak i'm going to like tickle your belly like make you like rev you up which is i'm trying to like um sugarcoat it but do you want me to sugarcoat things do you want i can't lie also i usually speak the truth so it's kind of like hey get your head life sir. but i think uh, you know jesus said the only two commandments one is speak the truth
here, but you won't be able to function as a society if you try to speak the truth. Believe me, like all of you all lie to each other all the time. That's part of human nature about how to lie to each other. It's the truth, my bro. I gotta sing. Yeah. Oh, next time. Yeah, I'm singing to you. I can sing this out to you. I'm gonna make this into videos and all kind of media. I'm, uh, the reason why I'm doing it is to have uh, you thought like, oh, these videos are too complex and too things. It is because to show you that what is technology become? What is a stream become? I can have a stream within a stream within a stream within a stream. Oh my God, stream of a stream of a stream of a stream. Everything's now, if you do, everything's a stream now. So the stream, yeah, that's why you need to work for me. I've been learning like uh, E6 functions, like the new arrow functions in Java. I like to keep up to date too. I'm, uh, I'm in technology, I keep up to date. Like in JavaScript, it's a good language. I, I'm always like, I write my, my language of choice is Java. But again, it's my... Uh, I like I'm um, learning JavaScript too because I think it's uh, it's everywhere. Yeah, you can find it on most devices. Any device that has Chrome, it already comes loaded with JavaScript as well as the Node. Yeah, that's why you should think about running against me or voting for me because I have dibs in technology, sir. So. So like every device, even this little device that's doing this recording has a Chrome. So you can use it as a front end as well as a back end. So the, the same uh, interpreter, the Node, the Node.js has been adapted to use beyond the back end as well as used for front end. So you can make React and you can make all kind of Java, Java things, classes and the full uh, object oriented scope is available to you in your browser. And the same scope is available behind you, the same engine of Node. So everything is a stream. Like even those things, do I can stream it 24 hours? I think I would. I will eventually will be. You'll be like, oh, because what is it? It's a stream. So it's a stream of a stream of a stream of a stream. Yeah, have a, like a Java stream that filters stream that creates stream. That's why. Technology uh, can, uh, what is technology? Technology has become like uh, expired because in certain ways we really, what do you use technology for? To watch movie, to watch entertainment, to get some stimulus to your five senses, to live with a fantasy. That's what you usually most devices and people most people will start crying if they lose their phone. And me, well, I'm a little bit of a different person. I have not used my phone or own this phone. This is like my old mother's old phone that I refurbished and using it because it works for me. So, I, don't, I quit using the phone. I don't use the phones anymore because it is. I try to live a life without a phone. It's possible I can live without a phone. I don't need to. Yeah. The maradam. Kuchi heyagam. Yeah. Canada has become. Dhammarudam Kushi Haya Gam Bombay say I am a radost Dustiko Salakaro Ratiko Kaopio. Yeah, that's why you should vote for me. Now, getting to another thing about politics. About policy, you know, our immigration policy is like a utter failure. It is like a total and totally exploited policy. 
like our policies of immigration are like dreadful. Now I'm an immigrant too, so I I know something about immigration and what is really immigration and the way it should be, and uh, because. Uh, when uh, a, a segment of an ethnicity complains that there are too many of the same ethnicity, then you should know that there's something wrong with your ethnicity-based uh, immigration policy. We need a better thing because I'm a woman too, but when I, I came to Canada, you had to be snuff. You can't like just waltz into Canada. You have to have like a good education. You have to have some experience and um, well maybe that's why you should consider voting for me. I came here as an engineer and I am an engineer. I came here even with less qualification. Uh, I came here with uh, being as a civil engineering technologist even though I'm an engineer. So on the less things I qualified when I came here to. Civil engineering technologist but uh, Well, I've studied a lot, I've been everywhere. But nowadays, we don't have anything. Uh, the whole process about vetting uh, qualification and all has failed. Many the domains and silos of safekeeping of qualification of who is like a really a reasonable person, but the methodology that's been used in creating like a conducive environment and something. I think maybe everything needs to be changed into universities. You know, we have to go the educational model and university model. I was wondering like, how are we going to solve this problem about doctors? We have fake doctors in this country. That is one of the reasons why I'm running. That's one of the reasons why the, the, you should run against me or vote for me is because we have fake medical personnel that are pretending to be like an imposters like downright imposters. But again, there's really nothing you can do. There's no laws against such failure and the uh, very silos of, uh, you know, demarcation and the one of that uphold the law. When College of Physicians, I would say the College of Physicians and the College of, of Ontario and Canada and all failed in the domain in who is really worthy of practice and who is not. We need, there's all kind of people like India, like, uh, Canada can get wonderful immigrant people, they, like everywhere, like, people want to travel, but I think, I'm thinking more of a planetary term, it wouldn't be like, well, like one of my friends from Italy who came to visit Canada, he said, oh, I'm, I'm going back to Italy, I mean, I really don't really want to stay here because Italy is just as good. So I think we need to make the planet into such a place, you know, like wherever you use, like wonderful, my friend. I have everything I need. Why do people uh, immigrate mostly? Like mostly people who ask you like, why did you come here? It's to make the money, my friend, to the means, to be able to earn and to like, uh, it's all mostly money motivated. It's like a business investment. That's why you immigrate to a place. But for me, I came here for freedom. I came here because we'll all be, to be free. And again, it has been a, a real challenge. The way the failures of the judicial system in so many ways makes Canadian justice always equal to Dixieland justice. They ain't really nothing too different over here. That's why I'm running. That's why you either have to vote for, my, vote for me or run against me because we need to redefine. Because all we are doing is we're churning out criminals. You know, Alberta, the judicial system is churning out criminals. You're not really going to make get any way by putting all the bad people in one place and like expecting them to like re reform this whole system of putting people in a uh, jail and all is questionable. Like, where did we come up with this idea? 
I was reading about the life of, that's another reason why you need to vote for me, because I'm a very educated Christian. I'm a Christian too. I follow the teachings of Christ. If everybody in this whole world was a Christian, we would be like real, we would be like a parallel planetary, we would all right. that's the whole plan, sir. We're going to make like everybody behave like a true Christian, like how the Jesus Christ asked you to behave in the book of the Matthew, man. Like the whole Beatitudes, all of you all need to take out the Beatitudes, look at them, read them, and follow them. And this place would be a paradise on earth. But no, you want to tell me about what Paul said. So why don't you change your name to Paulian from Christian, sir? I'm saying, do what Jesus said. If you go to call themselves Christian, then do what Jesus said. If you want to be like Paulian, you call yourself Paulian. But don't say like Jesus actually meant this when he didn't. That's what you think. Because you haven't taken the time to really think about what Jesus said and what he meant. Yeah, that's why I think there would be a good reason why you should run for election and vote for me. Because I have taken a little time to get up my, up to my spirituality up to speed. I think I'm kind of getting there. But again, it's all in, uh, nobody really knows about it because you, you all like juvenile, man. juvenile when it comes to spirituality. It is uh, in life, you get put through the furnace and the fire. It's to develop your spirit. Yeah. Ganga Jamuna Saraswati ka mail tabi hoga jib. Sangam. Rangila B is a very Gana Gao Yaro. Ye dosati. Ham kani. Nahi chori ye. Chori ye. Dhamma. Tera satna. Yeah, so we redefine the law, because we have, we have we need a little bit of upgrade. Actually speaking, truthfully speaking, okay, I'm I'm like a scientist, engineering, technology, theologist, preacher, um, jawbone collector. I actually practice with a samurai sword. It's perfectly legal in Canada. That's why I came to Canada because I have the perfect right to carry my samurai sword with me in a place, anytime, in a way. Really? It's perfectly legal to carry a samurai sword with you. Anyway. But I don't carry, I don't like uh, carry weapons. I believe in no weapons. I come in peace, senor, senor, and especially them senoritas. I come in peace. And love, 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 love. Yeah, yeah. I do come love. So I don't carry my weapons, but it is perfectly legal to carry your samurai sword in Canada because in ancient times, like uh, you used to have your sword. Even the RCMP officers and all they carry their sword for ceremonies and all. How could it be you know, illegal if you have to carry a sword for ceremony? And swords are all right. Like that. Well, what can you do with a sword? You can, the best way to kill yourself is take a knife and go in front of a police officer. You just do bang, 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 bang. Nice knife, nice knife, nice knife. Bad dog. Yeah, because uh, they all people are very sharp, frightened of edge weapons. Yeah. And there's literally no distraction you can do there except you like killing yourself. So. And those. If you play with swords, you gotta know you're gonna get cut with swords. So you have to be very, very respectful of all kind of arms and emanations. And that's again, we come to another reason why you should either run or run or what for me is because about the matter of guns. The guns is 
the focus needs to be changed on the object and it needs to be made on the subject. Like who's the freaking fool behind the gun? Like because guns, guns don't kill people, people kill people, okay? That freaking, that thing, a gun is not meant to be listened. It's not your iPod. You know, an iPod, you buy your iPod because you won't listen to the music. Like music, ah, right? Did you? You don't listen to music with your gun, shit, buddy. You know, there's one of those, one of those fine songs. Hey, man, I have something for you to listen to. I think that's like a Colombian joke. Yeah, Yankee Daddy, you can add this to your joke, or joke collection. Hey, buddy, come here. Hermanos, come here, I have something for you to listen to. Listen to this. Brrrr. Yeah? Uzi. Yeah, you like this song? Is that the reason why you buy a gun? No, it's not to listen to the song. Like you're playing the song, like hip hop, reggaeton. -y. You no reggaeton, -y, no gun, no music, no reggaeton song, sir. You have to have like the brrrr. But uh, no, the, there's no end to the guns and weapons and all this. This thing is like, what is the where problem is the use of it. You got to be reasonable with it. I would like to carry, carry a samurai sword. I like, I fancy them, but I don't. Why is that? I don't own one either. Yeah, because they're too expensive. Like a good one is like a million bucks. No, actually, a good one is like $500. But like a real ornamental one or something, there are millions of them. Most of the samurai swords are actually in lockers. I miss some locals to get into the locker trade. But I don't carry them is because you, you, will, you will fall back to it. Suppose you have an incident you're going to fall back to that weapon. Also, you take a weapon, you got, uh, you escalate the matter from like a, just a argument or like a, a stare or something. You are accident to like a lethal level because this is like a lethal weapon. Like a stingray, you know a stingray? The stingray kind of poke you. Did you know that? Like, hi, have you been poked by a stingray? That kind of objects you got, sir. sir People who you notice this too, like people that uh, like, uh, you don't, I don't believe in things, so I don't need to isolate. Also, I have a whole new other dream. That's why you need to. Because I'm starting this new party or run with me, the 308, remember the 308. Because there are 308 writings and we're going to take them all. We're going to use technology. And we need like fine, fabulous men. I feel like I'm calling the men of Shackleton's poster for important people, recruiting people to go to the attic. He said, like, one few better. High endurance, like a beta, like a bear, like a, like a, have a bat in the cold weather in winter. You know, man, your feet falling off and you're like, uh, you wish I have no fear of no London. Oh. Yeah. What is the name? What songs have we sung? Love me tender, love me true. Sang I like Elvis too, sir. So that's why you have to run against the person who can sing Elvis. And I all kind of Elvis songs. Okay, so try, go ahead and run against the person who can sing Elvis song.
Let's drop up our hair. So, um, again, I don't need to. I, I know in this art form, it's called the art form of the invisible soul. You know, the worst kind of soul is the invisible soul. Getting off a new sword. Now, now these weapons are like, uh, you can't see them, my friend. They're scary. So they are like a uh, light weapon, like light, beams of light, like how you're seeing me. But that's like weaponized light, like uh, la lasers. So it's a coming back of the day of the samurai because how are you going to manage a laser? Because that laser is like, it has a sweep and you have to manage it very well. It's like a day of the samurai. So I think gun guns are changing too. That's why we need to change. And also we need to... Um, so the problem, the focus needs to be... Uh, there's no end to weapons. You know, the famous saying is no weapon that is formed against you should prosper. And I hope that's true for everybody who is who have a good spirit and good heart and good wonderful, good intention. So it all starts with your intentions. Like, what are your intentions? Like, why do you want this weapon? Like, why do you want this gun? Like, why... How are you going to use it? Like uh, anything can be used good for good or bad. Like I can use this for good or bad too. But uh, so it all starts with human intentions and we need to focus on that rather than on armaments and weapons. There, there's no end to kind of guns. And also statistically speaking, like I, AI, if AI was going for a duel with me, he would not. Why? Because the data is against him as uh, going for a duel with a person. Because it's quite likely that you was going to get harmed by your own very weapon. Yeah, I think there's like a 58% chance you're going to get hurt with your own weapon, your own gun, your own things in your own place. So it's a bad idea. I don't carry weapons. I don't need to, man. I just like, I'm like, love and like uh i like flowers how could you be afraid of a man who like flowers man yeah so shall we keep this as the symbol for the 308 fan human beings yeah also i'm pretty i need like a finance minister i need a party need somebody who can uh, do do because this country to where is poor account and for me i'm really uh money taxes wise i got i done all my taxes so i have all my taxes uh, ready for all of them to inspect not like mr donald trump and all those things the truth is actually some places like the more money you make the less tax you pay because you spend it on tax uh tax accountant and a tax person knows how to save you all kind of tax that is the truth. Again, we have to make taxing meaningful. We can't uh, tax people, uh, keep on taxing people for cigarettes and then taxing them for them killing themselves. Yeah, really. In Kentucky, I live in the South too. In Kentucky, a, pa a carton of cigarettes costs $20. A carton, man. A carton of fat, marble red, medium hoods. 1999. My friends, my friends and brother, would you like a canton of Winston? Or would you like a canton of Marlboro Mediums, Lies, Lies, Grass? You can go to Marlboro for like 99 sir. How much is a canton of cigarettes in Shanada in the way you live? How much? I think it's about maybe $130 or $120 or $200. Yeah, I think it should be around. Or maybe like bootleg the cheap. Canadian cigarettes are rotten. You haven't smoked the cigarettes of the world. I smoked the cigarettes of the world. Okay. So Canadian cigarettes are like, uh, I need to smoke like four Canadian cigarettes to like get one feeling of one Dunhill or one feeling of five, five, five or some nice cigarettes like but again, uh, tobacco and the use of it, uh, this is another reason we need to get back to the source. 
So it's not the weapons that kill you, my friend. It's your own, it's your own, um, the, the people behind them um, that kill people. So we need to change and work on that intentions. And accidents are happening all the time. Hollywood needs to do tragic accidents, but all accidents happen all the time. You're very likely to shoot your freaking self with a gun. Yeah, really. Okay, singing a song. Yari meri man teri yari meri zindagi yari hai man mera yari teri zindagi yari yari Yeah, there used to be like a fine song with a, like a f yeah, keep singing. Yeah, uh, what else can I sing, sir? Yeah, Moon River. No, lucky they started again. So, what else would you like to know about, like why you should run for elections? and uphold democracy and upgrade democracy into like a smarter democracy where we have flowing rules and flowing laws and where another thing is uh, we talk about the best interest of the child believe me don't believe me go verify it for yourself i for the last six years of my life i've been writing about the best interest of the child but how can i convince this bunch of hooligans to believe that me and I have the best interest of the child. The best interest of the child, the best interest of the child. I've used the phrase more than 5,000 times, I would say. Maybe an exaggeration, maybe 6,000, or maybe a bit 500, but still that's quite a lot. So that's another reason why either you need to vote for me or, me, or you need to run, run for election. Because the whole system is a failure why we have like a degenerate society it is the separation like a you know it's like a wolverine you wolverine you take away the uh, pair wolverine from the parent and you rear him in the captivity or something what do you have become so parents need to take the responsibility for the children and uh, this whole concept of what uh, if parents took responsibilities for the children, we would have like good children. And in many ways, we uh, we our concept and understanding of what is the best interest of the child is actually poor. Yes, especially when it comes to children's aid society. Children's aid society has got it like all kind of wrong. They don't really have it together. I, uh, I was, used to be like, uh, you think the word matter of children, usually, you know, in the South, Ed, uh, South Park, yeah, you should vote for me because I've watched South Park. You know, they talk about that one woman, always she comes and say, do it for the children, do it for the children. That's all she says in the place. And you get swayed because anytime you take the word of children, like everybody's heckles and cockles stand up. So the whole concept of what, uh, the children's exercise is a failure. It's like a, you're given, you're taking, you're, you're destroying the children. Talking about the best of the child, you have no clue what is the best of the child. Many ways, even uh, the judicial system too has failure. Then you are taken away from your parent. Your parents, you need both of your parents. So, like when anybody has a child, uh, they need you need both of your parents. And even though uh, we believe in the same thing, but we are still only going to give you like uh, only like you get to see doctors with, with your children, where you can't like everything you teach them, they are unlearn. You teach them wrong, and then you come back again for doctors visits. And you teach them. A child needs to learn. A parent needs to teach the uh, child. The parent needs to take responsibility for the children. The parent needs to teach the children. If the children are doing wrong, it's because the parents are falling behind. And getting in the middle wall between them and the children is uh, unnecessarily out of bound. And talking about children, they can be swayed and uh, 
misguided. This world is lying to your children, right through your TV, right through the media, right through the advertisement, right through many kind of media things. There's a, all trying to sway their attention from uh, right from evangelism, from um, any kind of interest, no matter what kind of inclination your child has. But again, at the, at the, well, after the money goes down, okay, after everything goes down, at the end of thing, when you go back to the genetics of a person, when you go back to the you same crocodile nature within every person, you know, the, like I was talking about the alligator in the swamp, even if it's an alligator in the swamp, he still knows to put his family first, his children first. So at the end of the day, the children's aid society, nor the judges, nor anybody else has the best interest of the child either than the parent of the child because it's, they are genetically predispositioned to take care of their own offspring and teach them how to be successful, teach them what they know, teach them the, from the pitfalls. A parent's pitfall is, uh, is for, I learned from all my father's pitfalls. And I would like my son to learn from all my pitfalls. And I would like him to learn from all his pitfalls. I think each version of us, we try and get better and better. We are the same, we are the same version of student, calm and spirit, hanging around and uh, running around. But we are trying to get better and better, 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 better each time. Each time I think there is an upgrade. How do we upgrade? Human beings, let me tell you this. We only learn from our mistakes, from the mistakes we have made. So that Wolverine, He's going to teach the young Wolverine how not to make all these mistakes, how that's a trap and that's like actually a scam and don't go messing with that and stay away from those pack of bulls and don't go to that place and that's the smell of a wolf in heat and that's a coyote and all those things that the young Wolverine learns that from the father Wolverine and Wolverine is a Canadian name. So we got to redefine what is actually the true best interest of the child. Also, our laws, the excuse for not changing any of the laws, do you know what the excuse for not changing your laws is because we'll have to change going back. That is the excuse for refusal to change. Like even now, current status of family law and like the what's the best interest of the child is really not in conformance. Okay, I got to sing. We shall overcome, we shall overcome, we have overcome today. Oh, deep in my heart, I do believe we will overcome today. I'm hungry, hungry, I'm hungry, come here, oh, man, me, he, wish, ma. Right, so where will we, about why we should vote for me, or you should run against me? is about the best interest of the child. Our laws do not reflect the best interest of the child because the best interest of the child has been made a lot of progress. It has made a lot of progress with psychiatrists. It has made a lot of progress with psychologists. It made a lot of progress in many domains. But the legal system has refused to know because of the previous case laws where the legal system says they have the better understanding, a better right of what's the best interest of the child to define the best interest of the child. So, like even though a psychologist will say, the best thing for a child is to have both mother and father's influence, but the court will not order it. <coughs> oh. So, it is not like a, we go through this whole process, it's like a vicious circle, that way you come out like, the, you come out from a dry cleaner. The dry cleaner is the legal system, is like a dry cleaner system. 
unless you're part of the, you're related to a judge. Yeah, that's what's the case. That's why I'm running. And if the judge is corrupt, there are, so unfortunately, judges are corrupt. I've seen it firsthand. I have proof. I'm backed up by data. So, absolutely. You have judges that are in collusion with the police. You have judges that are, are really corrupt that have been marked and filed, that are like uh, sway cases. There's no end to it. Again, they're human beings. They're not like me, Samuel. Samuel was the first judge. Remember that, Allah. Uh -huh. And me too, I'm gonna to bring justice to town, so. Justice was, uh, justice is, don't put it for me. It's gonna be immediate, like yeah. uh, Judge Dredd. We're gonna have like a new jail Three nine, years. somebody, judicial language. Way again, ju justice really. system is going to be like a progress. Yeah. So, well, like anything that has a form, like justice system, everything about justice system is fill out this form, fill out 14A, 14B, get 14A, C's the thing, and all those things. And justice is justice, is justice is justice. You always get served. You know, it's all like court forms. So, all those things we're going to create into processes. Hello. 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 Welcome. Don't put it for me. Run against me. Run against somebody who wants you to rule. Yeah. Run against somebody who you want you to rule. Run against somebody who wants smart democracy, who wants to make the legislative process, you know, the legislative process into a smart process so that we can include your excuse, your ideas, your thoughts and your meaning of what the law should be into legislation to create laws, you know, that flow naturally around your life rather than laws that you have to like uh, get up early in the morning and suffer and cry and crawl up and down the staircase just to make sure that you fall Palaquins. Uh. Don't you think we need smart legislation? Yeah, we can have it. That's our business is. That's why I'm going back to enterprise integration. Now, how do business functions? For example, like how does Amazon function? Do they all like sell and write it down? Or do they get together? like in the legislative parliament building and they all kind of say okay we need to do this and do that is that how they function so why does the making laws have to function like that amazon has like software to design the starting of the process the ending of the process like how do you get the uh, goods like what kind of data like who are we selling it to like what um, law we are making they collect the user requirements they collect all the data right from the people like everybody is collected like they are always that's why they try to sell you like stuff like keep you on their website all the time wow good music that is Yeah. Person, because it's quite likely that you was going to get. Yeah. At the end of the beginning and everything in the beginning, like who's it goes to, where's it goes to, what's the evidence, goes to you, goes to a copy, all of my thing, all of it is standardized so that you can use it anywhere on in Canada. Or on planet earth because finally and in the end you're just another human being you are life you get put through the furnace and all the time yeah. and that's what you who hears a moose jawbone. This is then you should know. 
like a better, like a and get better and better. We are the same. We are the same. One dollar was eight rupees. And now it's like seventy rupees or something. So you see the change. So I know inflation like oh too well, because when I was in India or something, it was like everything like you get a kilogram of rice for eight rupees. But now it's like 120 or like, uh, I don't know, maybe 700 bucks too. So I live through inflation. That's why you need to run for elections or you need to vote for me, my friend. Because we, you're not going to have like uh, 70 million dollars to buy yourself one zucchini. So the zucchini is going to be sitting right there in front of your face. But you have got no money, sir, to buy that freaking zucchini and shove it in your mouth and chew it up. Oh, I chewed the zucchini up right in the superstore. What you gonna do, my friend? Eh? Oh, careful. He's very good, like, uh, going to fit you up with a mask that doesn't let you chew up the zucchini right in the store. Because look at the price of zucchini. $1,700 for a <laughs> Well, who asked you to make, like, Elon Musk have a trillion dollars? You know, when you were going on like trillion dollars, I said there are like too many zeros, my friend. Like, how long is it going to make you sit down and count that money? You know, when you have a problem counting money, the country got a problem, sir. See, in maybe Somal Somaliland. Have you been to Somaliland? If you have, you need to vote for me. If you haven't, you need to vote for me too, or run for election. So the like money you have to wait. When you have to wait to know account how much of money is over there. Because that's when you have to do that. Because you can't count it. Like if it was like a hundred uh, thing, it is worthless. So we're coming to such lands, and then what are we going to do? Are you going to become like a, taking one of these and running around town like a? going and stealing your neighbor's food or resort to anarchy or something. Let me, let me tell you, people, society breaks down pretty fast. When people are hungry, they get mad and sometimes they will act civilized. But when the children get hungry, all the rules go out of the table. Like all the things, like you know, all the things, there's no sin left worth committing when your children are whining for food. That's why we need to avoid getting to that situation that's why you need to uh, stand up, shake up, and run for elections, or vote for me. Because I'm saying we should guarantee food and shelter. That's what I'm saying. That's my take. We can easily do it. We live in the land of milk and honey, my friend. Where I live, I live in the wheat bowl of, uh, of the world, I would say, of Canada. You think nothing like, like this in my eye that I'm batting? Recently, we shipped out from this port 350,000 mil million metric tons of wheat. I think there's a million over there. Without so, so much of wheat, I have like a sea of wheat. So, Canada has like, that's why I came to Canada, because it's like a wonderful land. We have like, we have everything then. This is the land of milk and honey, and you hear you telling me that I need to pay for the food. This is the land of the milk and honey, and you is telling me that I gotta pay. Oh, I gotta sing. Yeah, the blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, a fortress of glory Perfect salvation, perfect delight. I must sing you in happy way. This is my story. Okay, you know, seeing why it's hard to get started and it's hard to stop. So, where will we now? Yeah, guaranteed food and shelter. Because look at your life. That's why you look at your life and vote against me. Or run for me or don't run for me. 
is because your life is all about the money. You need to pay the money, the rent and the mortgage or something or you're going to be kicked out. You're going to be evicted. So you have to do what you have to do. Likewise with the food, you either have to uh, do it or you're going to go hungry or you're going to have to stand in line. So, we need to guarantee food because that's going to be the very two things that are going to be like out of our reach with inflation and killer inflation. And uh, boy, boy, uh, once inflation strike, also we are having like, you don't realize we are having famine around the world. The little uh, the food that we have is like gone, it's gone, gone, gone. You know where it's gone? Cargill took it, Cargill bought it. What has Cargill done with it? I don't know, it made it to Wonder Bread and gave it back to you? Did it? Or did it send it to China? Because they love white bread. Yeah. Have you said, you know, the Chinese sandwiches? No crust, sir. You can take the crust and you eat it for yourself for breakfast.